There are quite a few exceptional and extraordinary cities in the world. Some are famous for their massive size and population, others for their scenic natural beauty, while some are also renowned for their incredible architecture, be it modern or medieval. It's no secret that these amazing cities attract millions of tourists every year. But did you know there are some places that might be so extreme that people would choose to steer clear of them? Turns out there are some insanely dangerous cities built on the very edge of safety. After you finish watching this video, you may feel that something was seriously wrong with the people who built these, but the fact is they do exist, and today we'll introduce you to the most incredible of these cities. So make sure you watch till the end and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this thrilling ride around the globe. Let's get started. Hanging Houses of Cuenca, Spain Also called the Casas Colgazas or Hung Houses, these are located in Cuenca, Spain. This is a residential building complex. It's left over from the time in history when houses like this were the norm in that area, especially along the eastern border of this historic city. This place is located close to the ravine of River Hoika. You can witness in the footage that only a few of these houses are left standing. These have been used as homes over the past decades, such as council homes. One is used as a restaurant, while another was converted into the Spanish Abstract Art Museum. However, the most popular one of these buildings is a group of three structures having wooden balconies. What's weird is that even today the real purpose of making these hung homes is unknown. According to experts, these have known to exist far back into the 15th century, but they've been refurbished quite a few times, the most recent one occurring in the 1920s. This small village with mysterious homes is a must-visit for travelers looking to appreciate the quirky side of historic architecture. Hilo, Hawaii this city isn't built on the edge of something it could fall into. In fact, it's built too close to something that may overflow and destroy it. Yes, you guessed it right, Hilo is built on the edge of the largest volcano in the world called Mauna Loa Volcano. This one produces lava at a rate higher than any other volcano situated in Hawaii. A lot of its vents and rifts are alarmingly close to the city. In the year 1885, the land which is within the city limits was ravaged by the lava twice. In 1985, lava flow managed to come quite close, about four and a half miles out of town. The locals don't consider it a huge danger as the molten lava from this volcano flows at an incredibly slow speed, leaving them with adequate time to evacuate. But that doesn't mean you won't be leaving your home and possessions behind to be destroyed by burning hot lava. The village of Craco, Italy This one is an extraordinarily dangerous place. So much so that the families who'd been living here for generations finally gave up the thought of continuing. Now this village is a ghost town. Nobody lives here anymore. It seems like it's been lying uninhabited for centuries now, but in reality, this village that looks like a pile of ruins was only abandoned near the end of the 20th century, their reason being a landslide. This happened due to faulty pipework that failed. The landslide forced every single resident of this village to move out. It's now a popular tourist attraction in the region and is often used as a shoot location for movies and television shows. Naples, Italy One may assume that a city located so close to the legendary Pompeii wouldn't survive for long, but Naples has managed to survive the eruption that Pompeii failed to. Now, it might seem lava-free today, reality is a little different. The president of European Volcanological Society, Henri Gandrou, has deemed this city as the most threatened urban area. Naples is not just super close to the Mount Vesuvius volcano, it also sits quite close to a supervolcano called Campiflegri Fields. The lava flow is capable of reaching the city in six minutes, and it would take about three days to evacuate the cobblestone streets of Naples, which is honestly not ideal. The residents of this city sure have a lot to worry about, but they continue to live here like it's nothing. Nabida Laveria, Italy This one is quite like Craco, but it's not entirely abandoned, as some people still live here. It's built at one insanely precarious location. The village mainly homes workers from the old lead and zinc mines of Nabida. The houses are built around a square and there's a workers' recreation center, a health clinic, administration offices, and even a church. About 3,000 people lived in the village around 1910. A third of these were miners. Nowadays, it looks more like a ghost town with a population of just 100 people. The mine had reached peak productivity by 1913 and the mining crisis of the 1970s led to the demise of this village. From where it's located, it seems like even mild winds could cause this entire village to collapse and slide into the sea. 
The town has received UNESCO recognition for being a vital component of the Geo Mineral Park of Sardinia. Venice, Italy Italy seems like a popular place to build dangerous cities. Another insanely popular tourist destination in the world, Venice, has also managed to bag a spot on this list. Despite its beauty and the romantic experience of being taxied around town by singing gondoliers, Venice is not quite perfect. The city has always been at risk of flooding, after all the city uses water canals as roads. Therefore, the high tides and winds can cause high water levels that may harm the city structures. Quite recently, in 2019, 90% of Venice was flooded after it encountered the highest water levels in 50 years. Unfortunately, the work on the city's floodgates that began in the 1980s is still not complete. The other problem Venice faces is the sinking, just like Jakarta. The city sinks 0.08 inches annually due to the rising sea levels, coastal erosion, groundwater pumping, and more. Besides that, the pollution and damage occurring due to the large cruise ships sailing through the city is a lot, too. These were, however, banned in 2021. It's only a matter of centuries, though, when Venice will be remembered like Atlantis. Castelfoyit de la Roca, Spain This village is built on a narrow strip of basalt rock located in Catalonia, Spain. It's around 50 meters high, but two houses wide. Ordered by the confluence of Fulvia and Toronto rivers, this crag came into being thanks to the erosive action of the rivers on the lava remains of old volcanic eruptions. The houses are also made from volcanic rock, mostly. The village was built in medieval times. It contains dark, narrow streets and squares. The town has strategic value due to its naturally benefiting position for defense purposes. It's one of the smallest villages of Spain and is still inhabited by some very happy residents. The Church of San Salvador is present on one side of the cliff, and dates back to the 13th century, like most other structures from the town. There's also a relatively modern part with swimming pools and facilities offering many leisure activities to residents and tourists. The dangerous location and the mystery surrounding this town have made it quite a popular site in Spain that's often featured in photographs. Santorini, Greece One of the most popular holiday destinations around the world, Santorini sees over half a million tourists annually but we doubt many of these would be aware of the volcanic history of this city. Santorini was target of one of the largest volcanic eruptions in 3600 BC. The blast was so deadly that Plato is said to have used this city as inspiration while coming up with his story of Atlantis. This volcano is still active. The last eruption occurred in 1950, which wasn't that long ago. However, there's a more pressing issue the scientists are concerned about, and it's called Colombo. It's an underwater volcano in the Aegean Sea and it erupted back in 1650. That eruption was quite devastating, and if another eruption of that scale occurs again, Santorini would face a deadly tsunami. All this information makes us want to reconsider our travel plans. Suspended Houses of pont en royal France This place looks like no one can escape plummeting to death once they step outside. What you see isn't a scene from a movie. These are, in fact, multi-story 16th century homes situated in the village of pont en royal These houses are hanging over the very edge of vector cliffs. These homes were intentionally constructed here in this manner to hang over this precipice in order to utilize all of the space this plateau had to offer. The economy of this place mainly depends on tourism, as the houses have been classified as an historic monument since 1944. A peculiar feature of this village are the old outhouses that are no longer in use, but these old toilets are literally just planks of wood with holes in them and are suspended at a height of 10 meters above the river. New Orleans, Louisiana, USA New Orleans is quite famous for the great food, great music and great people it's home to, but another reason this city is famous is Hurricane Katrina. The deadly hurricane had destroyed part of the city and had caused a lot of casualties back in 2005. After 50 levees and flood walls along the Mississippi River failed, the city succumbed to floods. 50% of New Orleans is already below sea level, and then there's the Mississippi River flowing super close. The city has upgraded its flood control system since Katrina, but flooding isn't the only problem. NASA has revealed that parts of New Orleans are sinking at quite a rapid rate of around 2 inches per year, and with rising sea levels, there's a good chance that by 2100, New Orleans will be between 2.5 to 4 meters below sea level. These are pretty alarming figures. Sentinel de la Bodegas, Spain This is a town built into a massive overhanging rock. It's located in the province of Cadiz, Spain, and is constructed along a narrow river gorge. 
Many houses here are built into the rock. This was done either by enlarging already existing caves or overhangs. These rocks are great for providing shade year-round, but there's always a chance that the roof will come crashing down, bringing several tons of boulders with it. The place, however, seems quite safe, and it's also pretty popular for the great quality food served here. The meats and pastries are quite famous. The bars and restaurants here are regarded as the best in the region. Yanjin, China Yanjin is regarded as the narrowest metropolis in the entire world. This city is located in Yanjin County and it's built along the Nanshi River. With the river running in the middle, this city is surrounded by the mountains of Yunnan Province on both sides. The city is the true definition of a city built literally on the edge. It's quite like a sandwich in which each side of the city being the bread and the river being the filling. At its narrowest point, the city measures about 39 meters, while at the broadest point, it's 300 meters. However, the peculiar thing about this city is that there aren't many bridges here. It's surprising, as a city built on two sides of a river would need a lot of these for transportation. The homes in this city are built on pillars. This helps protect them from being destroyed when the water levels rise during flood season. Despite any precautions, this must be a frightening place to live. Who can sleep peacefully at night knowing that your house could potentially fall down a cliff edge or get carried away by flood water any time? Besides the unconventional construction, the remote location of the city has also hindered its economic growth, but none of these disadvantages have managed to deter the locals, according to whom they would never consider living elsewhere. Ronda, Spain On a tour of the sunny Costa del Sol, Ronda is a city well worth a multi-day diversion. This is an iconic Spanish city, one that bravely straddles the El Tajo Gorge and is best known for being the birthplace of bullfighting. The former Moorish bastion has captivated famous visitors like Ernest Hemingway and Orson Welles and consistently impresses travelers with its long-running traditions, adventuresome vistas and picturesque narrow streets. In Ronda, you'll find all the Spanish staples in the city's tapas bars and restaurants in addition to typical Andalusian dishes like fried fish, gazpacho, oxtail and more. The region's cuisine is heavily influenced by its Moorish history, especially in the desserts. Because sugar was first introduced in the 10th century, many of these recipes date back thousands of years. Take pastinos, the typical sweet treat in Ronda, which are deep-fried pastries slathered in honey. Because the city is located up in the mountains, you'll also find that the surrounding ecosystem plays a role on the menus of Ronda. In the form of game meat like rabbit and partridge, plus a wide variety of mushrooms. In the surrounding area, known as the Serrania de Rondo, there are many vineyards and wineries worth visiting. Polignano Amare Located on Italy's southern Adriatic coastline, the town of Polignano Amare is an ancient seaside town dramatically sitting above rocky cliffs and sea caves and offering sweeping views of the turquoise sea. Centrally located in Puglia, Polignano is not far from the region's two main airports in Bari and Brindisi that service flights from Rome. For reference, Bari to Polignano Amare is a 35 to 40 minute drive. Brindisi is a bit further, at about 55 minutes from Polignano. Trains run frequently from Bari to Polignano and are a convenient option if you'd rather not drive. Keep in mind though, if you're planning a Puglia itinerary, your best option will be to rent a car. With a car, you can easily reach other popular towns like Olbarobello, Monopoli, Ostuni and even Lecce further to the south. Plus, to really see and appreciate the beauty of Puglia, you need the freedom to explore at your own pace and where public transportation is lacking. Whether driving along the coasts or through sleepy towns and farmlands, you'll get a more authentic feel for this part of Italy. That was all about the scariest cities in the world. We hope you guys enjoyed learning about these. Do tell us in the comments which one you found fascinating. And also make sure you've subscribed to our channel. See you all next time.